joined by Kevin Magnuson very shortly. But with us for now, we have Esteban Ocon, Lewis Hamilton, Sergio Perez and Valtteri Bottas. Now, Esteban, your closest. Let's start with you. First up, how are you physically after breaking your seat and that turn one crash last weekend? Yeah, um, recovering. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's been obviously a quite a, a short period between you know the the incident and you know going back on track uh, quite soon. But uh, yeah, I mean I will be okay uh, to race this weekend, which is the most important, and uh, yeah, ready to uh, to race. And when we look at the last couple of races for Alpine, if you guys hadn't had bad luck, you'd have no luck at all. Um, what is your message to the team? What is the mood in the camp after two such frustrating races, two DNFs in I both races? I don't think we can call it on luck, um, you know, for, for two instances. Um, I think, obviously, we are uh, not, not where we want to be exactly. Uh, we know what we have to do. We know where we have to progress. Um, and, you know, we are obviously bringing some, some new parts to the car this weekend. Um, hopefully, that's going to, you know, bring us closer to, to the top ten to be able to score. Um, but yes, it's going to be important for us to have a good one uh, before the summer break so we can all you know, go in, in, uh, in the holidays uh, with a clear mind. What are you expecting from the new floor in particular this weekend? I'm you know, fit to the ground uh, at the moment, just seeing what it's going to bring. Uh, obviously, it's going to be the, the important understanding it as well. Um, it's going to be tricky with the format this weekend, uh, especially how... You know, um, very few tyres we have on the wets um, or in general for, for the weekend. So, uh, yeah, just want to see if it brings us closer to the point. So we are going to be able to score again. Um, that's what we want to be achieving. All right. Best of luck with that. Thank, Thank you. you, Esteban. Kevin, coming to you now. Uh, now, since you were last in the FIA press conference, you've become a dad for the second time. How is little Agnes and how are you feeling? Are you knackered? Are you coming to the races for a break? No, not at all. It's, it's she's been super good, and uh, everything everything's been fine. So I'm fresh as as always, and uh, and ready to go again. What about the on-track performance? I felt you seemed a little disheartened in Hungary last weekend. Is that fair? Well, I don't know. I think it's you know, frustration. You know, is is of course building when you see um, other teams developing and, and making big gains and, and we haven't seemed to to make that big uh, step yet but you know I still have uh, all the faith in in the team that we can turn it around eventually it's not going to be you know immediate but I think we're, we're doing the groundwork to to be able to to bring that that step um, later on in the year it's uh, it's of course frustrating when you when you don't have it and and you know we want to be be up there scoring points and and doing well and then at the moment it's a, it's a bit hard is the car better in race conditions than it was earlier in the year? Is the tyre wear, the tyre deg better? I think we have made some progress. It's just that, you know, overall our performances have, you know, dropped compared to our main competitors. Uh, but, you know, uh, race, qualifying versus race, I think that, you know, that has improved. Um, unfortunately, some, some of the cars that we used to be racing in the beginning of the year have, have just become much faster overall. And, uh, and that's why we... we we don't see that gain so much, but um, yeah, as I said, we're working super hard. The whole team is is really working hard, and I think uh, there's still you know reason to be optimistic for for the re remaining of the year. Drive a silly season, Kevin. Gene Haas, your boss, is here this weekend. Are you hoping to sit down with him and nail out a new contract for 2024? We'll see when it happens, you know, and uh, and how that pans out. I think at the moment, um, you know, there's not not any news to to bring, and and eventually, you know, we'll come around to it. Uh, I don't really know what's what what's going on. I, I feel like the team is pretty happy, but uh, you never know with these things, and and I take it, you know, one day at a time. All right. Best of luck this weekend. Thank you, Lewis. If we could come to you now, um, such contrasting fortunes in Hungary last weekend. It felt, you know, a brilliant Saturday, a slightly more difficult race. Where does that leave you and Mercedes coming into Spa this weekend? What can we expect from you? I think it leaves us optimistic. I think we had a. It was amazing to have that experience on Saturday. It shows that there's potential in the car, and and everyone's working incredibly hard to. Uh, to bring performance and um, I think our, our end of race pace was very good we just have to work on what was we, we've understood what the issue was at the beginning and uh, 
So, uh, and we've got some upgrades here this weekend, so hopefully that, uh, you know, the weather's going to be interesting. But You mentioned performance there. How much are you still firefighting with the W14, and how much are you actually working on performance? Um, well, I mean, as a driver, you're constantly uh, battling the inconsistencies with balance, but, uh, but we are flat out trying to improve, and, you know, just as Kevin says, we're working a lot to analyse we, where we are and what we can do to try and make those big steps that some of the others potentially have, like McLaren and, and Red Bull often, often make. So hopeful and have all the faith in the world that we will eventually get there too. And Lewis, we're just over the halfway point in the season. Can you just give us a brief summary of how you think it's gone for you and Mercedes so far? Uh, I, think it's been, I think it's been decent. I mean, it's not, we didn't start where we wanted to, wanted to be at the beginning of the year. But we've just made a lot of progress. There's been a huge amount of progress over the uh, over the season so far, and hope, hoping that there'll be a lot more uh, in the second phase. What were your expectations coming into this year? To be fighting for a world championship. <laughs> That's always the expected. No, I'm, no, honestly, it was just to have a um, be in a much better position than we were last year, and I think um, that wasn't the case uh, with all the amazing work that goes on through winter. We kind of started. Um, further behind and so it's it's been a big steep uphill climb but really proud of the team you know we're fighting for a second in the championship as a, a constructed championship which is definitely something we didn't expect after what we felt at the first test and and that's really down to the great teamwork that's happening in the background and the goals for the second half of the season um, my my f full focus is on to try and um, secure a second for the team. I think everyone at back of the factory, it means a huge amount for them. And whilst we can't currently catch the Red Bulls, um, I think that's that puts us in good position for next year. Can you win a race? At the moment, <laughs> not quite sure we can currently compete with them race pace. I mean, I think there were times in the last race, Max was around eight tenths faster than, than everyone. Uh, on a single lap, so, um, but n never say never. All right, thank you, Lewis. Best of luck this weekend. Checo, coming to you now. A great race by you on Sunday uh, in Hungary. Do you feel you made the one lap progress on Saturday that you wanted to last weekend? Yeah, I certainly feel like we were a lot stronger on that qualifying, but obviously it was a, a different qualifying, and we were caught out, I think, going on to the soft, and the margins were extremely extremely close so just being on the wrong wrong tenth of it meant that I started P, P9 rather than being inside the, the top four top five so um, I think in the regard it was positive. You said on Sunday night that it's all about consistency for you now has the has the sprint come at a good time for you or would you rather have more than just the one practice session at the start of the weekend? I mean we've done a lot of uh, races and practices it's the same for everyone so um, it doesn't change anything, um, but we've seen it before. You know, we we the margins in qualifying are very small. So if you don't get already like Q1 right, it it could be very easily out. You know, we saw it last weekend. I think uh, with George, he was out of Q1 and Lewis was on pole. So it can just happen to anyone out there. Do you think the margins in qualifying? If it's dry, unlikely, but if it's dry, do you think the margins in qualifying will be very small here? I, th I think so. I think with the, with the new tyre, everyone is uh, extremely close. And um, yeah, I see no reason why, why this should be any different. All right. And Checo, can you just sum up the first half of the season as well, please? How do you feel it's gone? I think for the team has, has been a great, a great uh, first half of the year. It will, it will be great to, to keep it the same for that second half of the year. Uh, on my side, I think I had uh, four or five uh, weekends where I didn't maximize uh, the full result that I had on the table. And that has cost me a lot of, of, of points, you know, but I had a very strong start to the season. Um, and yeah, I just think on, on this second half of the year, I just want to be doing my, my form back and um, yeah, be able to to score as many points as possible in the coming races. Is it just form on your side, or is it the fact that the car is not where you want it now compared to where it was at the start of the year? It has changed a bit uh, in that regard. I think when we went to Barcelona, I found a bit of a different 
uh, balance uh, compared to what I wanted. But um, I think uh, now we've we've come on top of that. We've made some some good progress. Uh, we've had some good race pace uh, in the last few races, but uh, qualifying hasn't been going our, our way. Um, so yeah, I, I think it's just how it is. You know, through the years, sometimes you have a bit of of uh, bad races, but it's it's important where we finish in Abu Dhabi. I think. All right, thank you. Best of luck to you this weekend. Valtteri, thank you for waiting. What an incredible qualifying by you guys last weekend, fifth and seventh. How much was that a surprise to you? It definitely was a positive surprise. We, Of course, we took that result happily on, on, on Saturday, but uh, I think it was, everything kind of came together. We had the upgrade in, in Silverstone. We learned a bit more about it in terms of the setup, and then the track just suited our car pretty well, I think, so... Um, yeah, just those type of corners that Budapest offers seem to work well for us. Um, unfortunately, in the in the race, we were not quite on the on the same pace as in the quality. Um, and yeah, was a bit unlucky at the start as well. So yeah, no points, which is of course disappointing after that kind of Saturday. Where was the car especially good in Hungary? I would say all the twisty stuff, like all the lower speed corners, um, the long corners. It seemed good and. Um, also, like oh, it feels like whenever there's more straight line, it's a bit of a bit more of a struggle for for our car at the moment. So let's see how we go here. Well, what about here then with that long 20 second flat out segment from turn one up to Lecom? I would definitely myself say on paper Budapest would be stronger for uh, for us than than here. But yeah, also now this weekend, I think the weather is going to play a big part. It's a sprint weekend. There's going to be opportunities. So. Yeah, we, we still try and keep maximizing everything with the new package and learning about the setup and hopefully squeezing a bit more, more out of it. And Valtteri, can you just sum up the season so far? You've scored nine points as a team after 11 races. Same point last year, 51 points. We, until this point of the season, we haven't met the targets we, we set as a team and um, everyone accepts it and um, is working as hard as ever to get back back up there but, but it, it is the situation now we're not you know satisfied with it but um but it, it is motivating to see that even with small gains you can make good progress so um yeah again progress uh, improvements that's the key key for the second half all right thank you Valtteri. best thank of luck this weekend let's open this to the floor now Please give your name and publication. First question. Yeah. Uh, David Croft, Sky Sports F1. Uh, good afternoon, gentlemen. It's a, a question for you all. Sorry, Tom. Um, don't often talk tyres, but um, I often hear you saying your views don't get taken into consideration. So give me your views. If they vote, the F1 Commission votes to remove tyre blankets for next season, what are your worries about going into racing without tyres that have been warmed in the blankets? Or what do you think could benefit the sport uh, by doing so? Kevin, let's start. Uh, I think no blankets. Uh, I've I've done a a test uh, and it's okay. You know with the, the tires are what they are. You know when they're hot, you, it's okay, I guess. But uh, the warm up phase and the outlaps are gonna be super super tricky. I think on uh, you know in a race situation, if you when you need to hurry up on the outlap, I, th I don't think it's gonna be uh, that much fun. So um, unless they improve that, I don't I don't know if if it's gonna work. I didn't test these tires, but listening to to Kevin, I think it also takes away, you know, some strategy uh, games in the race because you can you cannot undercut people anymore. Um, and you, we've seen different category trying it as well, um, you know, on a dumb track or something when you have to switch to to slicks. And yeah, I just don't think it is is the right thing to um, to do with the technology we have at the moment. Um, Obviously, trusting Pirelli to to do a good job uh, with it, but if you have a tire that works at cold temperature, it will degrade massively. Um, that is always the the problem that you face, um, you know, with tires. Lewis, please. Um, what they said, basically. I've already spoken about this, so not really much more to add to it. Okay, check out anything from you. Just a safety concern on the drivers. Uh, I've done the, the test, I did it last year in Monza, and I think it's the main concern, that outlap. 
I think everything has been covered except from my side. Yeah, the, the pressure rise is still an issue because obviously you need to still start with a certain minimum pressure. But once there's such a big difference in the temperature, obviously the pressure gets very high, and that means you lose grip. Um, yeah, more degradation, um, and if you're following another car, then it's even more more worse. So there's still work to do, obviously, but. Um,